turning back now. Every Call of Duty player has a favorite campaign mission. When we set out to make Black Ops 6, we were focused on delivering missions so iconic that they stick in your memory long after. We are bringing that action-packed blockbuster feel to every step of the narrative. We are giving you more variety, more dynamic moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, and more options to finish each mission. We can do this loud or quiet. The game is packed with unexpected moments of Black Ops mystery. It's a high-octane spy thriller where you're never sure who to trust and what's real. And it's all set against the backdrop of the early 90s. The Soviet Union was crumbling after the fall of the Berlin Wall and the end of the Cold War. The U.S. is the only remaining superpower. The Gulf War was dominating headlines everywhere, and there was a growing mistrust in government reflected everywhere across the music, television, and pop culture of the time. When we talk about the Black Ops timeline, Black Ops 6 comes after the events of the Cold War, but is directly tied to the 1986 flashbacks in Black Ops 2, the aftermath of which has left our heroes in dire circumstances. Some you should see. Black Ops 6 blends the rich and gritty history of previous franchise titles with bold new characters, with veteran Frank Woods as our through line in our story. In this new chapter, we see a different side of Woods following his traumatic injury at the hands of Raul Menendez. He's been pulled from the field as he adjusts to a new role within the CIA, often behind a desk or on the other end of a radio. His protege is Troy Marshall, who's been making a name for himself in the field. Marshall is a reluctant leader driven by a strong moral compass. Marshall and Woods are working with another new face in Black Ops 6, CIA handler Jane Harrow. She's a born leader, fearless and brilliant, and helps manage their relationships within the agency. Woods' ability to operate in the shadows has always been hugely valuable to the CIA, whether they want to admit it or not. And Marshall has the ability to make tough calls in the field, ones that Harrow trusts him to make. But when an operation goes wrong, Woods and Marshall are suspended and ultimately forced to go rogue. They soon realize they have to trust each other to get to the bottom of what's going on without any of their usual resources. They have to build their own team, recruiting two exciting new characters in Felix Newman, a technical genius, and Savati Dima, a mysterious assassin. With the end of the Cold War, these former enemies have become new allies. And with the sudden return of notorious operative Russell Adler, who'd gone missing for months, a former ally may have become a new enemy. For the Black Ops single-player campaign, we prioritized mission variety and unique experiences. Our goal was to offer players a wide variety of mission types, each crafted from the ground up. One moment, you'll be storming a palace. The next, you'll be pulling off a heist at a casino. We aim to take players all over the world and immerse them in vastly different experiences. Within these missions, we wanted gameplay to unfold in multiple ways, giving players the freedom to navigate through them as they see fit. Where we have different combat styles, we also have conversation opportunities where you can talk, barter, and manipulate your way into different experiences. And we think you'll want to replay levels to see them all. We are excited to offer a variety of different enemy types in the campaign. The goal was to provide different challenges for the player. So whether they choose to go in guns blazing or take a stealthier approach, line them up right, you can take them both out with one shot. Nice and quiet. We've continued to push on what's possible in terms of how our enemy combatants behave. Your enemies will be relentless, constantly seeking to outmaneuver you throughout the levels. But caught off escape routes, push on player's location, and force them to think on their feet. We've created certain missions where we give you a high-level objective and a variety of ways to approach that objective. One mission in particular takes place in a vast desert in Iraq. You and your team are hunting down missile launchers with the SAS. It's one of the largest campaign maps that we've ever created. Look alive, people! They know we're coming!
you'll find that some of our destinations have a startling contrast in look and feel as well. We have a mission that takes place in an opulent casino in Southern Europe. It's unlike any past mission in Call of Duty. And what the player does in this space is totally unexpected. And another one of our missions we have set in the harsh tundra of Northern Russia. We are excited to offer an array of brand new equipment, as well as some favorites from the Black Ops universe. RCXD, tranquilizer trap, adrenaline stem, homing knife, disruptor, The campaign is grounded within an expanded campaign hub called the Safe House. You might remember we also had that in Black Ops Cold War. But this time, we wanted to think a little bit more broadly about the environment. We chose to have our team's hub located in a more naturalistic setting. So, it's in an abandoned manor by an ocean cliffside. What's most unique is that it used to be a KGB black site, which was operational during the 50s and 60s. This brings a lot of intrigue to the safe house and will allow players to explore and discover secrets from the past. The team is also bringing back the evidence board, which is still the centerpiece of the safe house experience, but with brand new upgrades. Players can view the campaign outline, gain deeper insights into missions, and analyze evidence collected throughout missions. Okay. Capture. Okay, the attacker comes in. I'll go. Three, two, one, go. That was sick. Oh, great. I think we got it.